वेलकम बैक है सो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट हैज री इंस्टेटेड द पॉपुलर वन डॉलर मंथली एक्सबॉक्स गेम पास डील आफ्टर डिसकंटिन्यूंग इट थ्री मंथ्स अगो दिस डील इज अवेलेबल फॉर बोथ पी सी गेम पास एंड गेम पास अल्टीमेट इट्स नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर कॉन्सोल गेम पास द कन्वर्जन रेशियो फॉर द एक्जिस्टिंग एक्सबॉक्स लाइव गोल्ड एंड पी सी गेम पास यूजर्स टू गेम पास अल्टीमेट हैज चेंज फ्रॉम वन इज टू वन टू थ्री इज टू टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सबॉक्स लाइव गोल्ड मेम्बरशिप रिमेनिंग आफ्टर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू गेम पास अल्टीमेट मंथली ट्रायल This membership will change to two years of Game Pass Ultimate in India. First month of Game Pass Ultimate costs around rupees fifty, rupees five for nine afterwards. Good timing for this deal, in my opinion. A few days ago, GTA Five was added. Already uploaded its gameplay running on my Realme Pad via X Cloud. Starfield is a highly anticipated upcoming title. Exclusive Xbox property will be released on six September, just two months from now. It will be available on Game Pass day one of its release. So, using this one dollar monthly trial, you will be able to play the game at a very affordable price. Moving on to another GeForce Now Thursday update dated 6 July 2023. One of the greatest real-time strategy games ever made, Age of Empires Part Two Definitive Edition, is now available on the service. In addition to it, the following games have also been added: The Legend of Heroes: Trials into Reverie, Octopath Traveler Part One and Two. Octopath Traveler Part 2 Pro Log Demo is also available. I have the premium membership of GeForce Now Softbank, the Japan-based server. We'll be showing you gameplay of Age of Empires Part 2 running on the Android client of GeForce Now. Server location Japan East. Test the network connected to a 5 GHz band Wi-Fi channel. These are the details getting a latency of around 142 milliseconds. Now this service is not available in my country that is India so I use the free version of Proton VPN. Once the scene starts, I disconnect from the VPN. We'll be connecting to Japan region in Proton VPN. Stream settings: resolution set to full HD, frame rate set to 60. VPN is running in the background. There's Age of Empires Part 2. Need to own the Steam version of the game in order to play it using this service. Okay, so this game supports mouse and keyboard, not a gamepad. Connected my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to Realme Pad via Bluetooth mode. Click on play. Game should start instantly. Steam started. I'll enable the performance overlay. Just need to press L1, L2, and B keys together. You can see the resolution and FPS counter here. Real-time data consumption. I'll just disconnect from the VPN. Connected to Japan. Okay, so the game is not already installed on Softbank-based server. I'll just install it. Hopefully, it works. Play. There you go. Now we are in the menu. Show me the game settings. The game is not demanding on the hardware, so I'll just max out all of the settings. We set set to ultra by default. Full HD resolution. Start the campaign mode. You can play online with other players as well. Entirely up to you. I played this game for the first time almost 20 years ago. Can't believe it has been such a long time since those days. I'll start Saladin's campaign. The premium membership of GeForce Now Softbank has just received a price cut. You can get their monthly subscription for only four US dollars. All right, game has started. Our troops. Select all of them. Stream quality is excellent. Detailed character model. Steam is consuming almost 28 megabits per second of data. This is for full HD 60 FPS. Reduce the volume. Realme Pad has excellent speakers. Holland is ours now, and soon Egypt will be as well. My troops are running so slowly. It's due to this thing, heavy scorpion. Slowing down the entire army. The speed of the entire group is dictated by the speed of the slowest member. I always love this art style. This game is more popular than Age of Empires Part Four. Saladin, where are you going with that? I can play this game all day. 
this tune is so iconic music in this game is just beautiful <laughs> My objective defeat the best ranks. Dead end here. Black area on the map is basically the unexplored area. It should be the correct path. Don't have any settlement. These are the available resources. I can see the enemy's buildings. Enemy troops. It's an all out war. There we go guys, Age of Empires Part 2, one of the greatest RTS games running on GeForce now. I'll end the video here, I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.